Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am doing a very, very special but very scary unboxing of the new uh, Cinderella Castle uh, from the new Disney Castle Collection from Shop Disney. Now, the reason why I say scary is because I've heard mixed things about the castle and the castle is not cheap. Um, all the reviews that I've seen on YouTube have pretty much been positive, but the reviews that you see on Shop Disney have been pretty negative for the most part. I am a little scared that uh, my windows are gonna be scratched up or that my paint's gonna be sloppy because that's what I've been reading on Shop Disney as far as the reviews go. So I am a little worried because this castle is a hundred, $149, $150, that's not cheap for a figurine. Um, but I'm hoping that I get lucky. Well, I am gonna start with something else that I got from that collection. So I'm not big on journals, but I saw somebody unbox this on YouTube and it looked beautiful. So I got the Disney Castle Collection Journal. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off the sleeve. Oh, the glare is horrible, I'm so sorry. This is what it looks like. It is a very nice journal, very, very nice. So it has the um, bookmarker and it a, has a charm that says Disney Castle Collection and it's actually white multi-shift glitter. So nice. Let's get into it. Oh, and it has an insert. I'll get into that. Oh, and the edge of the pages are silver very nice let's go ahead and open it okay so this is what the pages look like you have cinderella's carriage and you have her castle all right so you have pictures of the inside of the castle and you have her mirror, her closet, her dresses. This is very nice. And so here you have different you have different crowns there. You have her necklaces, you have Jack and Gus Gus. So this looks like it's right after the wedding because they're still in their uh, wedding attire. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with this journal. Um, I might just keep it as a collectible. I don't know if I'm gonna, um, you know, use it for anything. I love this scene when the prince is greeting all his lady guests. I don't know if I'm getting close enough. And you have the two stepsisters, the, I don't know what he's called, but he's reading the names of his lady guests. And then when you flip the page, you have Cinderella, and you have the king up here with the duke. I love the king and the duke. They're so funny. When they're jumping on the bed and he says, the whole thing was a plot. <laughs> so cute. The colors are very vivid in these pages. You have the other side of the ballroom with the balcony. 
Now this whole collection is just for us to be able to get a nice detailed peek into the castle of each of the princesses. Uh, you have, so this is the kitchen and you have Jack right by the teapot or in the teapot. And then you have Gus Gus eating a little piece of bread in the kitchen. So cute. I actually love this. This is this picture right here. These two is what made me want to get this journal. I love the way the portrait of the prince looks here, just like in the movie. You have the king sitting here at his desk. This is beautiful I love it yes you have the staircase of where Cinderella is running away and she's leaving her slipper behind and you have the Duke calling um, for her to be stopped and that's pretty much it that's it for the pictures in the journal this is a very nice journal and then you have the logo for the Disney Castle collection on the back. And then I'm going to show you guys the insert. You have a poster of the inside of the castle. Oh, I actually see two bedrooms, which is interesting. So there's one here, and then there's one here. This looks like the king's bedroom. That's probably the prince's bedroom. Hmm. You have the ballroom, the staircase where Cinderella left her slipper. You have the kitchen. And you have the part of the ballroom where the duke closed the curtains when um, the evil stepmother, um, Lady Tremaine, was trying to spy on Cinderella and the Prince dancing. You have like this art room in here. This is really very cool. So now for the main event, the castle. Let's see. So this is the box that it comes in. So you have the picture of the castle, the logo for the castle collection. Sorry for the glare. You have the side view of the castle. And then you have Cinderella holding her slipper, the castle behind her, the clock at midnight. And you have the back of the box, picture of the castle, and it has the price, $149.99. And then it's talking, you know, it just describes about the collection and the series. All right, so let's start unboxing this beauty. So excited. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, do not drop this, Jennifer. Do not drop this. Wow. Okay. Let's smell this. Let's smell this plastic is very strong oh my goodness sorry <laughs> I'm just mesmerized this is beautiful this is very very nice it's pretty much exactly what I was expecting um uh, there were some people that said also that there's a rag broken. Um, so I'm looking for pieces that may be missing, which I don't see any. I don't see any scratches. Okay, yeah, there is some scratches on the, on the plastic of the, the what's supposed to be the windows. It's not bad not anything that's gonna obstruct oh goodness okay yeah yeah there are scratches on it i can see what people are talking about um 
it's not obstructing my i mean the scratches aren't obstructing my view that's unfortunate that it has it that it has the scratches um but the paint i guess i can see what people are talking about um the paint is not a hundred percent perfect it's not i wouldn't call it sloppy but um it's not 100 percent perfect but i think that the imperfection of it because there's some parts that are dark uh some parts that are light that looks like there's paint missing but i think that is the look because the paint i mean this is supposed to replicate a castle the paint on the castle so let me show you a closer look it is very very nice i'm actually very glad that i got it I don't know i mean i know there's glare but i don't know if you guys can see there's very light scratches so like on this top part uh a lot of people said let me bring it this way see if you can see the scratches so i don't know if the camera is gonna pick up the scratches oh wait see like right on the top you can actually no that's that's the bulb but I don't know if you can see so like oh there we go there's some right there so i can see what people are talking about but i don't know i guess yeah for 150 dollars, there shouldn't be scratches on the windows but i have no regrets on getting it it's you can't even see it some people said that it obstructed their view of what was inside um i think it's beautiful now a lot of people said well they should have made it glass but then you have the um, issues of the glass breaking. So then there would have been complaints there because a lot of these castles, the windows would have probably ended up shattered um, with it being glass. So I want to show you the details of the paint. So like right here, it looks like it's lighter, like there's paint missing. But I think this just goes with like the build of the castle and the imperfections that go just like when you, you know, if you have a house, like the painting on it is not going to be 100 percent perfect or um you know if this you know the castle is supposed to be very very old um you know there's going to be fading on the paint and then the dark you know where there's parts that are darker um it just gives it dimension and i think that that's what makes it so nice it is pretty heavy but i love the blue i love the pink um you have this is the blue bedroom i because in the poster that i showed you guys it was a, a bed that was red and there was a bedroom with the bed that was blue this is the bed that was blue so i'm assuming that that was if i remember from the movie the king's room his bed cover and like the drapes that were over the bed i believe they were red so i'm assuming that this is the prince's bedroom and then you have the ballroom scene with cinderella and the prince dancing and then you have the ballroom where the prince is greeting his guests. So nice. So I am very happy with mine. Show you the back. The imperfection on the paint. So see this one has like blue smudges over the pink. That one has some blue smudged over. It's very minor things. Um, so like right here. But it's just very, very minor. I don't, I don't think that should derail you from purchasing if you want to purchase. Or, um, I mean, if you have the fundage to do it. Um, and, you know, and you're tempted and you're thinking about it. This is a very beautiful very beautiful figurine and i have never seen anything like it and i've been a disney fan for a very long time this is beautiful i love it i am very happy i was nervous because of all the bad reviews but this is it's a beautiful castle i'm probably gonna display this with my um cinderella carriage fungo all right and that is it thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys tune in next time Thank you. Bye.